What's going on my kitsunes? It's your favorite retail box box. They come back at you with a brand new episode of The Sims 2 Mall 621. And in today's brand new episode, well, it is officially episode 9. Next episode we're going to be on episode 10. And we've already made it pretty far out here. Knock on wood or call me a walking jinx magnet all you want out here too. But we have not had a single crash building this. I do feel like we got pretty close out here though in past episodes. Obviously this one was particularly messy out here. But anyways, right about now. We got a whole bunch of other stuff going on right about now, like, for example, the, um, the Yippies, PCs, and Coke, um, restaurant here that I forgot to complete, and this is actually the part where I was talking about here where I'm like, oh, um, is there, like, an error or something like that? Because I actually thought the game had, like, you know, killed itself or something like that, because I know Sims 2 does have a history of doing that, especially if you play like me and you've got, like, 10 to 12 gigabytes of mods. Oh, man, this game... Like, this game, you can so tell it didn't, it is just not designed to handle that. But yeah, we have about 10 to 12 gigabytes of mods. It's pretty fun, actually. But yeah, I'm pretty happy right about now with the um, result at the moment, you know. Got a few other things going on right now, for example, the um, napkins and everything like that. Even though you're literally only getting vanilla Coke here at the best out here. This was actually a suggestion a long time ago by one Yippie Volsung or Yippie 621 or however you call him here. We've not seen him in a hot minute out here too, so hopefully he's okay. But anyways, right about now we got the Yippies, PCs, and Coke finished out here. Second thing we do as well is we actually get like a nice little clothing kiosk out here. You're going to see a lot of kiosks in the mall, just like you do in real life actually. I think the next one I'm actually thinking about making like a stuffed toy or like, you know, some sort of like toy kiosk or something like that because I know those exist. I know we're going to also be right next to where the KB Toys will eventually go. And yes, we are going to include KB Toys out here too. We are going to make sure it's open because, you know, screw real life. This is a freaking video game. And quite frankly, that was a shop that was taken away from us by a private equity firm. Also, did I just see the um, counter with the Finnegan on it completely disappear in the footage? Oh, that can't be good. That cannot bode well for the future of this mall build out here. But we still get a lot of shops left to go. We got the Red Wolf Bubble Tea. We're actually about to have an entire section of minor shops completed out here. We are going to get to the Anchor Interiors pretty much last out here. Partially because I've yet to actually build the signs for the Anchor Interiors yet. I've yet to actually do them in Homecrafter Plus, but definitely getting closer to completing season one of this here too and yes there is going to be a mall build for season two i did mention the possibility of future mall builds as well too although i don't think in the future they're going to be like you know the same size as this lot or at the very least if it's not an american style mall out here too because obviously for an american style mall you need things like parking lots like there's like parking requirements that we have here in north america like usa and canada particularly are notorious for this i'm just gonna say right here i'm just gonna say right now why do we have this we act like everyone needs a car, but that's just not the case for being honest. I'm happy using my own two hind paws to get around because I'm a biped and I can actually walk on my hind paws. And I don't know why I call them hind paws in hindsight out here. But I digress out here too. Like worst case scenario, I'm going to get a bicycle. Like I, I'm just, you know, not in the, I'm, I'm never really in the right state of mind. It's kind of like learn to drive, you know, so it's really kind of not an option for me. But anyways, outside of that too, there are other mall locations I'm planning to build as we build this on Red Bull Bubble Tea. I obviously mentioned Europe Shopping Arcades. I think some of you guys actually suggested to look at a mall, I think in like Central Europe out here too, Europe's largest shopping mall. I'm really interested in that. I think it was Tales who suggested that, so I'll have to take a look into that. And then on top of this as well, there's also the SM malls, which are gaining traction in Southeast Asia. Definitely, definitely want to look into making something inspired by that. Although you're never, I mentioned it in a previous episode, I'll mention it again. You're not going to catch me dead working with Marlboro kiosks out here. That would never fly where I'm from. And I'm pretty sure I'd also get in trouble with YouTube for it as well. So it's probably for the better. I actually don't attempt to do it. But I digress out here too. We're finally getting to these little booths over here. And there's a few other things that I wanted to do as well. Like we have the little booths over here. And of course, you know me, I gotta have the tiny booths on top because they look really cute. And plus, you know, they scare like... Well, they actually, I don't want to say they scare the ex away, but mm, I mean, she said they look tacky back when we were together. So you know what, I'm gonna use them anyway. But anyways, we get this, um... What was it again? We got this Sonic and we got this Tails. And of course, it can't be Red Bull Bubble Tea without an Ace Pride flag because the person who um, this was made as a birthday gift for, I believe, like back in 2023, actually is, I believe, on the ace spectrum out here. So I figured we'd use the ace flag. If I had a demi flag, I would absolutely use that as well. 
Unfortunately, though, no one's really made a recolor for that outside of Sims 4 because, you know, after Sims 4 release is when we started getting the wave of pride flags out here. There's just like several hundred of them now, and I have, of course, of course, all of them in Sims 4 because why wouldn't I? I mean, come on, man, why wouldn't I? But yeah, we got this media market over here. We got pretty much everything that we need. And I think it actually is looking pretty good. We do not get this shop done today, by the way. I want to be perfectly clear on this. No, we don't get this shop done, but it is definitely coming along nicely. And if you do have any other international brands you do want me to build as well too, please let me know because for me, media market, I, I know for my viewers in Germany, this would be local, but for me, this would be international because I'm from the States. I'm like, you know, a whole ass continent away from this store's main market. So do forgive me for any inaccuracies building it. But we actually, I am open to suggestions for other international brands for this mall too. Because you know what? I feel like it makes sense out here too. Even though it's a USA style shopping mall and you're really not going to like, you know, a European business is going to have like a hard time competing when everybody needs like a car to get everywhere and whatnot. That's actually a reason, or at least highlighted a reason why a lot of our malls are dying in the US out here too. I, I wonder why we don't fix it. Oh, that's right. Lobbies. I forgot about that. Not the time or the place to discuss that, and quite frankly, given Tuesday's, or last Tuesday's events at the time I'm recording this commentary, I think it's time to, um, put that behind us a little bit, kind of, like, de-stress out. That's at least my goal at the moment. Obviously, right now we had a few casualties within this community. I'm coming off of a mental health break myself, so... Yeah, ain't that a stinker, but anyways, right now we get this, um, video game section out here, too. And I think we also have a play and movie section. I was actually trying to build a, um... What was it again? Magazine section, but that never really kind of, that kind of like fell through, so that's not really great. But yeah, what I did was I put the um, mainstream consoles up front and I put the retro stuff in the back. And by the way, without exaggeration too, we actually had enough room for every single console, which I'm pretty happy about right about now. We got the um, NES, we got the SNES, and then there's a whole bunch of other stuff too. We got the GameCube, and of course, I had to put down a black Wii. Obviously, you know, it's the Wii. It's the best-selling console. Of, I think it's like the second best-selling console of all time. The PS2, I believe, was much higher on the best-selling spectrum, but... The Wii obviously had to put twice out here because the Wii actually has recolors to it, so I figured there's was an empty space, might as well use them out here. And speaking of recolors too, we do recolor a lot of these too. These are not all Xbox 360s, although I was originally gonna put the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 2 in the back, which admittedly wouldn't have really made much sense. So eventually I just decided to put the pre-play games in the back, which did ultimately make more sense. I don't know if Media Market actually sells pre-play games out here. I, again, Viewers in Germany, please let me know. You are the ones that have this in your backyard, so if I'm screwing anything up, say something. Now's the freaking time. But anyways, we're starting to get pretty close to the end of this episode out here as we start to place down what will eventually become the movie racks out here. I actually have a blockbuster set. But anyways, if you do go on to enjoy, you know what to do. You had a reminder three minutes in. Another reminder is going to come up at the end screen. If you want to support me a little bit more, you had a reminder at the five minute mark along with the mid-roll ad. Until next time though, take care for now. Take care. Bye for now and have a great day or night. No matter where in the world you may be, I cannot give my commentary right today.